going to be a monumental task. Our Jarita Patterson continues our live Team 3 coverage with more on some of those trees. And uh, I see that big one right there behind you, Jarita. Big trees, big headaches for some right here in this Whitehaven community. They are telling us they're going to do their best to actually help uh, crew, city crew members with the cleanup effort. They have chainsaws ready, but the temperature is not uh, very welcoming. So they're going to wait just a while longer until they can actually come out with their chainsaws. Folks, we are off of East Range here at Grantham and Shirley Drive in the hearts of Whitehaven. An area that, uh, according to one young man who's lived here 29 years, is telling us it is a very mature neighborhood. A lot of elderly live in this community, so those who are able are going to assist when and in any way they can. And I can tell you the city will need the assistance. The sheer number of fallen trees and limbs across Memphis is simply overwhelming. Crews are having to work very slowly because of the danger, because of the ice, what you are seeing right now. They're having to work on top of this ice and with chainsaws. So imagine the difficulty in all of this. But I can tell you we have seen again many folks coming out sort of trying to get their bearings, trying to understand what it will take to clear this area. Good morning to you, a young lady right there on her porch. Greg Tate, I'm not sure if you can actually see. We may not want to get her because she's in her nightgown, so we, we won't get her. But uh, she's out. She's one of many neighbors. Again, surveying this area, trying to get a, a better idea, a better understanding of exactly what is happening. According to Mr. Jonathan Smith, Greg Tate, you better not be shooting our neighbor in the gown. But according to Mr. Jonathan Smith, who we spoke with earlier, he's telling us they are willing and they will not sit idly by when they have the means to come out to clean up what Mother Nature left behind. So they will get started. Crew members will get started. They once more just asking you to be patient, to give them a little grace because they have hundreds, if not more, trees to clear. We are live in Whitehaven. Jarita Patterson, WREG News Channel 3. Back to you.